Uh, John Blackman, as Ange mentioned, she, uh, had posted quite a, a lengthy uh, post to Twitter saying that there was never any intended malice uh, back in those hey-hey days when you were the butt of many jokes. Has John Blackman or Daryl Summers reached out to you since? Have you mended your friendships? Is this something that is and will stay in the past? No, no, no. Look, none, I, I didn't take any of it personally, you know. I mean, the thing is, as I said before, you know, I was on television, I was alive, and I'm still alive at 86. I, you know, I mean, I, I you know, forget the past, you know. Uh, forget and forgive. I have nothing against Daryl. As I said before, the guy is a very talented guy, and, and uh, I, I thank him for the opportunity and uh, any of the derision that I suffered, you know, I, it's, uh, I, you know, I, it hurt. Of course it hurt. It, it's, it's terrible to be humiliated, you know. And I know they wouldn't uh, hit John Farnham or Jimmy Barnes in the face with powder puff. But again, you know, I, I don't know. I, I think the, the, the root problem was I was too successful for them and I was too tall and puppy, uh, too of poppy for them. And that's the real crux of it all. If I was a nobody, they wouldn't have done anything. You know, they wouldn't have cared. But please be kind. Oh. Kindness is kingliness. Kamal, you are an absolute icon. We do appreciate you taking the time to chat to us today. Well, all you ladies are, you, you are lovely. You're beautiful. Don't forget <laughs> me, Kamal. Don't forget me, buddy. Don't leave me out.